Hello everyone, this is the Tyus Man and welcome to my channel. And when this is my review of WWE Friday Night Smackdown September what is this twenty sixth or seventh? It's the fifth. It's I've been dazed and confused for so long it's not true. I wanted wrestling, but I never bargained for this. That... What was that? What did we just watch? Highlights. I'll give you a highlight. The AJ Styles, uh, card guy number two, and uh, Jeff Hardy... Uh, the match, uh, the triple threat match they had today, uh, was pretty good. And the, 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 the prequel to it, where they, they hoisted up both belts, and the winner of the triple threat ladder match will be known as the undisputed intercontinental champion. Hmm, I think I said that, like, three weeks ago? Maybe a month ago, when this all started with card guy number two, uh, AJ Styles and Jeff Hardy. I don't care what his name is. Uh, I don't care. He will always be card guy number two. Card guy number one, his name is Sammy Two, and he's an AEW. So there you go. Why? Because that's all he reminds me of. I'm the Intercontinental Champion. I got an Intercontinental. I'm the Intercontinental Champion. I'm going to get an Intercontinental Championship belt, and I'm going to declare myself the Intercontinental title Champion. Then you have to put me in the match, and now we have a four-way uh, uh, a ladder match. How about I invite all my friends, get them belts too. We all will be Intercontinental Champions. Will the real Intercontinental Champion please stand up? Jeez, all I need is 130 bucks. Oh, my God. But this, the whole night, the whole night was a drag. There was, there's no, no big, no big thing going on. I mean, this is Shinsuke Nakamura and uh, Lucha, Lucha House Party. I keep on uh, confusing them with the Lucha Brothers. Hmm, there's a theme here. I mean, look at Matt, Matt Riddle. I see. Okay, so let's take Matt Riddle and let's let him meet Orange Cassidy. Orange Cassidy, Matt Riddle. Matt Riddle, Orange Cassidy. Bro, hands in pockets. Oh, my God. You got King Corbett won the match, which was okay. Uh, Shisuke Nakamura won his match. It's... Uh, we did the stupid vignette of the stupid backstage promo, whatever this is. What is this? The Otis Miz. This is getting old. Get over it, Miz. Who cares about your lawyers and all that BS? Get that crap out of here. I'm lowering up. Oh, I'm lowering up. I'm lowering up. Oh, good for you. Lo get your lawyers. And uh, you know what? I'm going to get me a team of lawyers and sue you for the crap you make me watch every night. Damn, we deserve better than this crap. Get me a team of lawyers. Hey out there, can I get a team of lawyers to sue Miz for all the crap he's putting us through? Was this crap? Once again, hello WWE. If you didn't want Otis to be the money in the bank winner, you shouldn't have put him in the match. Why did you decide to make him the winner in the first place? We're all not stupid here. We know that you make these winners. Oh my god. That's stupid. It's stupid all around it. And um uh, and uh, and getting to the uh the the vignette of who is going to be the mystery person. They're finally revealing about to reveal who the mystery person is and Becky um uh Bailey comes out with her precious chair like it's the Lord of the Rings ring. Oh, it's my precious. Oh, the chair is her precious. I guess the chair is, is replacing Sasha Banks. Hello, that's a disqualification in which it's Mickey. 
Croft's another shot at the freaking title. Because she would win by disqualification. Knock, knock. Anyone, uh, anyone home in there? No, no, there's nobody home. We don't want the SmackDown. And then the the real main event, the only main event I can say is um, this 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 girl who, who they consider the Southern Belle versus Alexa Bliss. Follow the buzzards. Um, <laughs> that... <laughs> That was an okay match. Of course, I'm going to be a little biased because I want, I want a new way. I want a new Wyatt family. That's what really should happen. What you should do is you should make Alessa Bliss the new sister Abigail, alongside Bray Wyatt. Get get forget you know who can turn into the fiend and forget about the Bray Wyatt Funhouse thing. Scratch that. Throw it in the trash. Bring out like Bray Wyatt and his old Bray Wyatt, okay? And in a minute time, at any time, you have uh, Sister Abigail, Alexa Bliss, go over to whisper to his ear, and, and and fog come up, and there he is, the fiend. How can you do that? You can do that. That would be better than what you do right now. But oh no, what what? Oh, oh. Hey, look, I have better ideas than you. Now I have better ideas than you. Thirty years of the of, of watching this. I have better ideas than that the big man who wants the big dog as his champion. I hope and I pray that what I think is going to happen is not going to happen at Clash of Champions. Of course, not to trying to make it so you, you, you will never see it coming. Oh, the, the finger poke of doom. You won't see it coming at Clash of Champions now because because the, the big dog clocked Jey Uso. You won't see it coming now. I know it's coming. I know it's coming. I'm not stupid. You're going to do it. You're going to put that stupid finger park of doom on Jey Uso and Roman Reigns. He's going to lay down and pin it, get pinned for one, two, three. I know what's coming. It should be the Fiend versus Roman Reigns for the Universal title. That's what should be at Clash of Champions. But no, can't have that. Uh uh. The big dog, he has to have the title because if Fiend faces the big dog, Fiend's gonna win. I gotta have, I gotta have Roman Reigns, the big dog, as my universal title champion. Get out of here. This whole, the whole, the whole thing sucked. The whole thing sucked. And I, I the, 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 the damn thing is. Is that I have a live stream that I call Super Sunday live stream, and I will not be able to go all the way with that live stream because I want to. I go one a one p.m. to ten p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I won't be able to do that because I have to stop at some point, turn on that crap, and watch Class of Champions, SmackDown, sucked. Big thumbs down. That's what I think. There's no, there's no saving that. Yeah. Once again, let's have a bad show before our pay per view. Um, your goal is to make money, right? Your goal is to entertain us and make money. Why do you have bad shows before your pay per view? How is that advertising to me, a viewer, uh, to go and purchase or keep my subscription for WWE Network to watch your pay-per-view when all I see on Monday and Friday is crap? I, I have taken a logic I took the anger out of the issue, out of the equation, the frustration out of the equation. I am speaking on a money basis here. How can you justify me keeping my WWE subscription? I got other things to do than watch trash, okay? And I'm speaking from other fans' perspectives. I have to watch because I got. I want to do these reviews for you guys. But for an average viewer, 
you could have watched something better. I TNT or 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 uh, any other channel probably had something better on. They're the NBA playoffs. The NBA playoffs are on. You could have watched the NBA playoffs and you would have had a better time. I don't know. These are all my thoughts. Let me know what you guys' thoughts are down in the comment section below. Hit the like button and uh, subscribe. And as always, let's just keep it real.